After months of finishing this room, at last, it's time for a room tour. Here we go! I will show you guys finally my official study room tour. Let's start from the back. Behind the door, we have four hooks, and I used the two hooks for a while in the middle just to hang this amazing organizer that we have bought from Shopee like months ago for my old room. And then you know we have we changed the new room, so this so this still luckily works out perfectly. And let me show you guys the tiers of each. So on the top here, over here, I have my mask here, my facial mask, mask, more mask, then more mask. This is where I will put my mask in case we have to go out to buy some stuff or go out to eat, maybe if we can as a family. And then the middle part, this is technically where I put like extra stuff in there, sometimes cold ports as well too. It's a balance to be honest. My camera equipment, tripod, digging deep. There's some scissors out there. I have no idea why I have so many scissors there. Just some extra stuff here. And then the bottom one is for my scrunchies. I have so many scrunchies that I got it from my cousin and my mom. And a comb. So this is like hair care stuff. Yeah, I don't have much to be honest in here. But anyways, let's move to the desk. Hello there! I didn't see you there. I see you there. Uh, this is my mirror now and I covered it with these vine plants by the way. I will link everything that I bought from Shopee or outside in the description below because I want to help people see as well, get inspired by the rooms in here. And it's really exciting to be honest. So this is my mirror, my full length mirror. It's supposed to be like on the other side of here. But because I have a bed right here already and I might kick it out and this might break. So we decided to move it on the right side. And to be honest, it seems much better. We love it for me. Like, look, yeah, I can be able to see myself. We love that. Yay! Welcome to my file organizers. Let's start from my file organizer. I got it from National Bookstore at SM North Edsa. It is in the color black and at first I didn't like it, but actually it feels great. It feels great when as soon as I felt it with my, my desk. It's really neat. So let me start off at the top. So this is my um, binder organizer for my uh, what you call this photo cards and I just then I decorated it with stray kid stickers the letter stickers are by non demo creatives as again I will link in the description and then a animal crossing apple sticker we got somewhere and then here's my collection so far share ko lang po. Uh, this is the bang chan photo card that I got from the in life unboxing you can check that out this is the Minho freebie that I got with buying the Felix Stingy Season Greetings set and the Tree Racha that I also got from the In Life. And then this right here, this is what I got as, at, as a group thingy for the Stray Kids concert, which is Bang Chan, the Polaroid edition. We love that. And then this is a Polaroid of me seeing Troy Sivan for the first time in Manila. It's a surreal experience, by the way. I miss going to concerts. Take me back. And uh, this is a art by Yanka Smiles, um, a very, very famous haiku artist, fan artist, especially for Tsukiyama. And it's very cute, it's very pretty. And that's the only things I have so far in this binder. Here's to more collections. These are my notebooks. This is where I put my notebooks to keep notes, my anime watch list right here. I'll probably add more soon. Coffee grounds for the smell right there so that it will be neutralized and then I also got myself the Cartier eyeglasses case so that my glasses I, that I wear right now won't be broken then right here in the middle it's a little bit embarrassing but oh well who the hell cares anymore um, I have bought a, a Kagehina Love Child Doujinshi 
from Scott WM. I will link their Shopee shop Shopee page in the description below. And in the bottom one, this is where I put all my fan art, um, art prints, gifts from friends, stickers as well. Actually, there's a lot in here, like a lot of printouts. That's why I put them as one. Lots of gifts from friends. Thank you, friendies. This is the second second file folder. So this is now where I put some papers in here. We don't mind that. Um, some, um, what you call this? Postcards that I got from the thingies. I put it all in there as well. Some extra notes and this Kimetsu no Yaiba stuff that I wasn't able to put in. There were many ways. So this is the package that I have. I, this is where I put the stickers and extra stuff in here to be honest. So nothing much here. So that's pretty much it for my file organizer. This boat right here, my glasses that I just hang in there in case I don't use them right at the moment. And this part, this is my Tsuki Nitotan that I adopted from a Twitter mutual. And these are my Tsukishima and Kageyama Tsum Tsum so I got from Anne Panic on Facebook. I got it from a convention actually. It was the last stop. It was so, it was so, so selling out quite luckily I got them. Right here, my aircon, my aircon remote, my chokers, my only two chokers right here. The one with like the heart, this one. It's kind of old though, it is. Kind of wear out, but still pretty wearable. And this one, it's pretty neat. Love that for me, yeah. So here are my necklaces. So my necklaces. This one is from Venus Cried PH, which is the Tree Hearts. I love their shop. I totally recommend Venus Cried PH, which is my friend's shop. I love their necklaces there, and they're pretty getting famous actually in the Philippines, which is really amazing. Um, I'm buying the plan more from them soon, but not now. Anyways, and then this necklace is a gift basically an offering from our sister in during our retreat so if you're studying if you're studying at the benedictine school you may be familiar with this medal of saint benedict and to the right side <laughs> we have the narizaki banner which means who needs memories we don't need things like memories we do not talk about the netflix translation and um, it says in narizaki high school male volleyball club <laughs> it's my favorite banner of all the banners in Haikyuu so I place it there it seems so badass and cool you know and then right here this is my vision board or my favorite stuff in like fan arts pictures everything and let's start over here this is a Felix postcard from the season's greetings thingy set that I got because I just can't resist how beautiful he looks there and I love him he's my bias and then this one is a Mia twins print from this artist I'm just gonna put it on the lower screen and then this one thank you mama abby i got it from her recently she gave me this oikage photo card postcard thingy and you know she's a great friend i love her and right here are my polaroids polaroids of me and my mom polaroid of me meeting for sivan you know seeing him live was surreal take me back to me one i miss concerts and this is a Tsuki art print. I really love the art print. I just forgot who made this. I got it from a convention though. I just forgot who the artist is because it's been a long time since I've seen her on my timeline. Wonder how she's or they're doing. And then this is a Sokona art print from Jujutsu Kaisen I by, by this artist again. And then this Nezuko art print saying good job because you're doing amazing and then this is actually a gift from my friend again i'll just put it on the lower again the first container let us begin this is my mirror mirror calculator some wooden clips for my white grid my remote for specifically the led lights and my cd player glue my little fidget cube blue mini fidget cube because we love fidget cubes um, my correction tape and um, this is just where I put my extra stuff my cutter and my airpods in case I want to study just in case I need to study we study because we love studying in this house char stationery my stationery my washi tapes 
more washi tapes. My Haiki washi tape from a convention. These stickers, the dog one, and just the dog one, and the plant one. Pretty neat. And here are my other stationary stuff. My uh, uh <laughs> my other stationary stuff. These are my memo pads. Another memo pad from Hypnosis Mike. Canon Zaka Dopo from Hypnosis Mike. I miss them. My mouse mosquito patch in case. My little sticky notes and some bookmarks, tab stuff for my papers. This area. This is where I, the second container begins. This is where usually I put my more accessories. And first things first, this is like a candy dispenser originally for my candy that I got from Japan. But they already got eaten by ants back then, so we decided to throw it away. And this is the way to recycle it. I decided to put my candy like um, <laughs> bracelet. This is from Venus Can this Venus Cried PH, which has cross and it's a freebie along with the necklace. We love it. And this is the ring that I got from Japan. When we went to Fukuoka, we found a vending machine just getting random stuff in there. And then this is my cuticle balm because sometimes I have really, really dry nails and whenever I have the urge to bite them, I just rub it here and there. The first part is this where I put all my earrings. This is where I put all my earrings. These are mostly the earrings I don't use and then I just split it. The earrings that I usually commonly use onto like little boxes. Second one are all my or most of my stabilos because they just fit. It seems nice. So this is my CD players and this is where I play my music, my tunes. I sometimes use Bluetooth, mostly use Bluetooth to just chill and relax in my room when I lie down if I don't have much to do so it's just there and i have a review on it around a few months ago it's still working to this day happily luckily and it's nice i love it i love it so much and behind it is my extension cord about this lamp unfortunately about this lamp my father doesn't know where he bought it last time because it was been so long so i just decided to use it because look how beautiful it is and with my aesthetic so when you turn it on it actually has a wireless charging port so that in case i need to charge my phone and when i turn it on let me turn it on there we go when i turn it on it's gonna be like that you can also edit how bright you want your light to be like so just like all right and also you can also switch how bright your like warmth the temperature you can do that see how it's different now see warm <laughs> and you can also set a timer in here for like an hour of time which is lit i love it this is where i put my other stationaries my ball pens and other stuff and I just decorated with stickers, an organizer from Miniso. And these are my ball pens. Second are just my brush pens, scissors, and a ruler that I get from my cousin, and my highlighters. This is the place where I sit most of the time because I have so much work and we are studying from home so I'm prepared. This is where I put my iPad for readings. And that is a um, Kirby mochi squishy that I got from a gachapon in Japan. Actually, a lot of you guys have been so curious about this wooden clock. It was in Shopee. I will link it in the description below because it's really minimalistic and cute. And this is a Samatoki Manju that I got from Japan. Squish, squish. This is my laptop stand that I put most of my laptop in so that i could have a better like eye view this is my laptop is i just decorated with a lot of stickers things that i love can you see and spot any references that you may be familiar with and this is like my type c converter because my apple wand has only a few limited options so i opted to buy one on shopee wireless mouse and keyboard combo this is the ajaz 308 308 i wireless keyboard it, it's really nice gives you that nice feel 
of a typewriter. It's really nice to type in. It's so cute. And then this key, this mouse, I got it from a mall. I think it was Fisher Mall. I forgot um, when or how much, but I just got this for I got this for how many years? Or it's been so long. It still works with the battery and all. This mouse pad, everyone's been asking for it. I got it from this shop. I'll just link it down in the description. It's really hard to find a wonderful desk pad, mouse pad that is, you know, has a wonderful Celeste like design that I love. And it's really difficult because most of it are just not my style. And luckily, I came across this shop and it's really beautiful. I love it. I love the material, the texture, the way that they printed it. It's so high quality too. I would totally recommend this shop. They have more designs and they change every day. So if you want the design and it's not sold out, you gotta buy immediately. In this area, this is my uh, headphone stand from Fantec, my uh, silver tower, I think. I forgot the name. I'm just going to put it underneath here. And I decorated with a sticker, mini sticker there, Fantec. And then this is my headset, Ying Dao. I will link it in Shopee. It is just like a typical um, headphones with lights in it. I love it. so pretty though. So I decided to buy it. And then this is my cup and coaster which my parents gave me and it suits the little cute cozy aesthetic that I wanted so I just decided to stick it there. I forgot to film the others so here are my Korean blinds that we installed days ago. The hanging plant and also the Korean monitorizer that I just got and they're so beautiful. And this area, this is where I put my schedule for classes and some little pictures of karma, little motivation, slow progress is still progress, and a cute little milk thing. And yeah, that's pretty much in this one. And up, and then on here is um, the E neon light that Ate Eunice gave me. So thank you, Ate Eunice. I just pasted it there again for memory stuff. I decided to put it there anyways because it looks so cute at night, especially. I will show you guys that later. So by the way, I forgot my chair. So this chair, I got it from SM Furniture. It's pretty comfy. It's really nice to sit in. My dad just added this little um, backrest pillow so that I could sit properly. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not much, to be honest. These are my drawers for this table. And let me show you guys the first tier. So the first tier, well, technically, this is where I put... My other stickers that I don't need, some cooks, a lot of cooks, gifts, manuals, pins that I don't really use anymore, my markers. This is where I put most of my stickers in there. I put my husband pin, that crystal, and Kirby, and my tape. And the second one, the second tier is mostly electronics. This is where I stored my old Game Boy my console charger and games, my charger for the camera, my Apple connector, my Seagate flash drive, and the cover or um, the bag like sleeve for my Mac. Very much simple. And the last one, the biggest drawer, is where I put my research, my old research, my old papers that I can use in case I wanted to use it for research. Right here on the bottom of my desk is where I put my boxes for my Nandroids and light sticks. If you have been wondering where the heck do I put my the boxes and why does it look so clean? It's this one. <laughs> it's just little area right here. And right here, this is where the bottom part I will put my PC in soon once I, we get to buy a PC. But right now, we don't so I just put my water over there. Welcome to the shelf. So in my shelf, that's my graduation picture. And then my Yuri on Ice figurines that I got from my cousin. So thank you, Ati Buning and Ati Vensil. And a good time, my Funko Pop, thanks to Ati Buning. On the left side of my shelf, I have my political science books and the Bible. You have been wondering why do I have two Bibles? Because I used to study at a Christian school and we used to like use a lot of Bibles for our references to read and stuff so that we won't bring out our phones and stuff because that's usually not allowed unless. Anyways, and then I have my manga collection so far. I have this Naruto Complete Official Character Data Book, My Hero Academia, 
this Hunter x Hunter, to be honest, my cousin is the one that gave it to me. I never watched or read Hunter x Hunter yet. People are going to kill me for this. I'll probably watch it soon. Who knows? It's on my watch list. And then my Haikyuu manga so far. I wanted to buy chapter 32 and, you know, rest if ever. Maybe once we're two keys in it. Pretty really lit. I love it. And I got these um, book stops from National Bookstore. This one, this skull thing, I just cousin gave it to me. It suits the vibe well. It's pretty neat. And then this little mini stain that I used to dry clay with with my cousin. I named him Paul. Then Paul. I don't know why I named them Paul. They just gave me Paul vibes. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite part of my shelf, my fangirling collection somehow. This is my Stray Kids in Life album and the rest of these are just Five Sauce albums that I got in during my Five Sauce stand days. Uh, sounds Good Feels Good, the first self-titled album Five Seconds of Summer and the Amnesia EP that I got from a friend, thank you Prince. And yeah, that's, a, that's my Five Sauce collection <laughs> in terms of uh, my album. And right here are my androids. I just wanted to share a story that they're trolling Kageyama. So this is my Atsum. I finally finished my Trinity. I did it and I'm so happy. So I got this android of Atsumu from Personal Shop Philippines. Don't y'all know how hard it is to find a Atsumu android? That is legit. At medyo ano lang yung price. <laughs> Kasi ganito yun ni, eh. sobrang taas ng demand for Atsumu. Tapos, syempre tataas din yung price. It's supply and demand. Kaya yun, medyo ma ma nagmahal ko si Atsumu nung binili ko sa personal shop. Pero, legit naman yung personal shop eh. Chignan mo yung um, website nila sa Go Good Smile Company. Legit na partnership sila ng Philippines. This is my Atsumu Nandroid. Look how pretty he is. This is my Kageyama Nandroid. My first, my first child. This is my Tsukishima Android, pretty. And this is the 3D printed Stray Kids logo that I got from my cousin's shop and I bought it to support their business. And I also got the Stray Kids light stick acrylic case from the Everest Project PH with the matching bong that my brother and Ate Sai gave me. Thank you so much. And that's it for my show, basically. Extra stuff. So this is where I put my calendar in here as we 2021 this is where I put my calendar so that I could be able to check the date and all the stuff and then this right here is the, uh, the This is the tray that I organized like in part one you can check that out right there I'm gonna show you guys each tier. So the first tier are all my makeup This are my two makeup pouches. This is my tissues my only tissue to be honest, my wet wipes. The wet wipes container that I already finished <laughs> just a while ago. And then the humidifying humidifier oil, essential oils that I don't use anymore because I do not use humidifiers anymore since it made my room very oily. I didn't like it, my mom didn't like it either. So then this is my um, comb mirror, portable comb mirror, especially when I go outside my foot and hand cream more cream and my dandy sanitizer so that you know i could spray stuff and then this is my trash can that i decorated with some stickers i don't know why i decorated it with some stickers because it's just the things that i love and yes another cross has been the sticker i'm sorry I have fallen into the simp hole that is Corpse Husband. So this is where I put like extra stuff. This is my selfie ring light, the gachapon, another gachapon I have the squishy, my wires, double sided tape, and batteries. And on the middle one, so this is where I put my um, tablecloth when I eat so that it won't be messy on the table and then this is where I put my eyeshadows and stuff because they're like big big things and in the bottom one this is where i put some extra boxes in here some big stuff that you just needed to keep my extra stuff is just inside here some books that i don't use and read anymore my bigger gorilla pad these keycaps potting keycaps that i will use in the future once i have my pc we don't have a pc yet though but I will probably have one soon. So stay tuned for an updated setup tour. Yeah.
Yeah. Welcome to my bed, everyone. Welcome to my bed. So this is where I sleep, take a nap, to be honest. Ah. Anyways, welcome to my bed, everyone. This is where I take a nap or lie down if I am tired from sitting down doing my task. And this is where I stretch my back if I cannot do it on my chair. <laughs> technically, technically, frankly. These are my two pillows. This are this is my blanket, my two pillows, my Snorlax pillow that I got from Pokemon Center Fukuoka. And then this one is from a Fisher Mall. This is just from a shop that sells this cute stuff and I love it. And this is my tapestry originally i had this pink tapestry that you have seen in my ig story back then if you followed me you would have seen it but i decided to change it because it just did not vibe with my room very well so i just decided to buy this one from nicel.ph in shopee they ship so quick it's very pretty i bought the first option the 150 by 130 centimeter one and it fit right perfectly in my room and I love it so much I also had these fairy lights as you guys can see let me zoom them in I have these fairy lights as well it will show up better in the evening this part is better in the evening I have a window up there that just shows light and then this right here are the green origamis that I pasted up here so that in this part this part would be utilized very well actually this these crane origamis are from Miss Terry, who is our very wonderful tour guide back then when we visited Fuku we visited Tokyo for the very first time. I love we love her so much. Her friend, she has a friend I think who makes these stuff and we just I just utilize it and it gives me such very cozy just vibes. <laughs> Let's start at the bottom part. These tiers are decorated with wallpaper and let us begin with this area. So this is my speaker so that my TV will get louder a little bit and my switch dock with my switch it's currently charging at the moment with an extension cord at the back. We apologize for the horrible cable management. Forgive us. The TV where we watch stuff right here in the middle tier and along that is my Tuki lamp led lamp because of ati yunis again ati yunis literally spoil literally gave me like two pieces in this room and i love that for her thank you ati yunis you are amazing she gave me this for christmas and i love her thank you welcome to the top tier this is where i put my knickknacks and cute stuff this is where i would put my camera on there my vlogging camera, this is my disposable camera that I don't really use to be honest, but pretty there. My old Game Boy Micro that have been there for like really long time, ever since I was a baby, I've owned this. And then this like very cute green candle dispenser thing. And then inside it is an LED candle. And then across a teapot with the uh, with a coaster, rattan coaster like stuff and then fake flowers because I love fake flowers and I use recycled bottles for this and a little solo candle because just because and now here is my room at night time and to be honest it looks better <laughs> I will link everything in the description below and all the issues around the world as well because I am just tired personally of prejudice I wanted to just use my platform hopefully to spread awareness and find for other people not just for myself but the community that are needing support right now not just in America but all around the world so I will just link all of them in the description below and some videos as well to see on how you could be able to donate if ever I want to use that platform to help people know where to donate and stuff because donating 
helps so much especially in companies that really need them like organizations charities that need them the most and people who need them the most thank you so much that you guys are here with me on my room tour i know it's a little bit long overdue but it's because honestly college has been beating me up as a third year political science student i have lots of readings i have lots of stuff to do i have lots and lots of breakdowns with reportings but you know we have to keep on fighting and everything hopefully like by the end of june there'll be more videos hopefully hopefully i will be able to upload a updated setup tour pretty soon once i get my pc but right now we don't yet because we need to save money and i'm just waiting for the little signal thank you guys so much for watching my video even though that i just feel like i I'm so nervous all the time, I always slip my words. Make sure you guys like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel as well to see more videos from me. And thank you guys so much for the support that you have been giving me. I hope that it will grow and grow and grow because I just love you guys, you know? And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video and bye bye, kisses as well. Mwah.